I've just bought a Givi tank lock system for the XSR 700 and the mounting is a BF24 which is this piece basically my first thought was it fits on here so my work that doesn't work obviously because it uses these two mountings here so and, uh, there's like rubber pads underneath I think there's a spacer involved so basically that, that bolts on there sliding down you put that on which is that sort of comes with your bag that piece I suppose that that's bag specific to some degree and then you use this metal piece in, inside that to so that's clamped on there then your bag just clips onto this ring it's a very neat system and very secure once it's on so I've only got a relatively small bag it's actually only five liters because what I want to carry it isn't like a week's worth of shopping or something all I want is a couple of camera bits and pieces like a camera a spare battery that sort of thing and a small drone which will fit in I was a little surprised it looks too small but in fact it's kind of wider at the bottom than the top so once you get it in it's all right so i think i'm going to be pleased with this all right that's stage one taking these out nothing for all that does is hold this sort of plastic thing on top and you have these spacer pieces and they're fitted they actually sit in there like that really well and then you've got the the two somewhat longer bolts to go through there so that all fits as expected. Oh, and the nice thing is, it, if you don't need this on, or it troubles you, you can change back to the original. Oh, I need a different uh, thing for that. Right, amazingly I have the correct Allen keys. I would have them somewhere, it's just uh, I have this little set here with me. It all seems to fit quite precisely. So I don't think I'll be much bothered by leaving this on because uh, the, the style of the exercise it's all like bits and pieces stuck on it. It almost suits it. Well, having said that, yeah, that isn't all you leave on, is it? That's the sort of base plate. Due to the little rubber feet, there is a certain amount of like, tensionability. I'll do that. And then you put this piece on. It doesn't really matters which way up it goes. Does it show you? I'm going to show you with it that way up. So right, it's holding on those, those two and those two. And looking at the diagram, it appears to be like that. That central thing is there, but we don't actually use a central one. So it goes on like that. This is going to need two hands. Okay, so that's the base plate mount as you see, it actually fits in almost like a jigsaw piece. Quite quite neat. Then I need a somewhat bigger iron key again to tighten these. So the only real thing you could do wrong, I would say is perhaps cross thread these or something if you're a bit clumsy I certainly wouldn't be using like a power tool because I must admit I'm increasingly fond of using power tools to undo and do up things cordless 
screwdrivers and things because it's just a little bit delicate to make sure you don't cross thread it cross thread again I wouldn't over tighten it there's just no need there's a certain amount of stiffness and resistance so there's no need to go mad on the tightening it's right in front of your face you're going to see it if it's coming loose now that's the other thing you might do you might cross thread it and you might over tighten it if you're a bit sort of ham fisted now the point is once you've got that on there it's, ha it's absolutely rock solid you could feel like you could almost pick the bike over you know if it could fall on over you, it wouldn't be advisable but uh, or to sort of move the bike there's nothing sharp on there particularly Very solid. So then, just see if my DD little bag will fit in it all right. And there's a, this part underneath, which uh, you operate that to uh, unclip it. So I guess to put it on, you can kind of look here. It's really, really easy, it's as simple as that. You've got like a little carry handle. And I haven't brought it, but there's a strap. In fact, you can put it over your shoulder. There's some quite useful little pockets here. You might put your keys in there. I must admit, I've never been a great fan of doing that. But, uh, yeah, that's identical. There's, I don't quite know what these are for. These straps are for the shoulder bag, shoulder strap. It's basically just one compartment. There's, there's an element of padding in this. It's not exactly padded. And then you've got like a document to hide it all. Which goes just under that. You could also put your brain cover in there. And then that's quite neat. It's for a modest size mobile phone. It's like neoprene. I think that would keep it very dry. Yeah. It is easy there. There's just a spring in there. You do wonder as to how strong that would be about tying operated it 20 times and more. Maybe not this one. 120 times. But what I would say. Because it feels so much more a part of the bike rather than something you could just grab off. It does look a bit more secure. That's it. In fact, can you not just push it on? It's much easier the second time. Yeah, you don't even need to. That was me clumsily taking it off. And that's all. Put it on and just locate it over and clips on as easy as that. You don't have to do anything. And it looks quite good on this bike.